सो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट की हाउ वी कैन इंश्योर की इंडिया की टॉप टेन यूनिवर्सिटीज टॉप हंड्रेड ग्लोबल रैंकिंग में आ पाए तो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज की यू नीड टू सिलेक्ट ट्वेंटी गवर्नमेंट यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड उसमें ओवर इन्वेस्टमेंट यहाँ पे टर्म यूज किया गया है ऑल दो थोड़ा सा एक्सट्रीम है सो वी कैन से कि फिजिकल पॉलिसी का इंपॉर्टेंट रोल है then secondly we can merge many independent research labs so we talk about the role of research and development here and as we talk ki jo hamari percentage of gdp hai, that is very less 0.7% is only allocated for the research and development so that should be increased third is we need to scale and concentrate the government research funding to the universities so that linkage that coordination needs to be increased fourth we need to incentivize corporate research at local universities तो कीवर्ड इज कॉर्पोरेट रिसर्च एंड लास्टली वी नीड टू फोकस अपॉन परफॉर्मेंस बेस्ड फंडिंग व्हिच वुड आल्सो बी एक्टिंग एज एन इंसेंटिव सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस फंडिंग कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड सो हेयर इवन द रोल ऑफ प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटीज कैन बिकम इंपॉर्टेंट सो इंडिया का अगर हम सिक्योरिटी स्पेस की बात करते हैं तो दैट्स ऑलरेडी ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट इंटेलिजेंट प्रोक्योरमेंट स्पेंडिंग शिफ्ट टू कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर देखने को मिल रहा है then there is a uh, more youth participation and recruitment when talk about the army integrated commands ki baat karte hai cross border strikes abrogation of article 370 quad partnerships so uh, on the part of defense we are seeing these developments so yahan pe ek thoda unique point tha that uh, universities pe bhi focus karna chahiye aur uh, prelims ke liye defense technology council has been formed so it is chaired by the prime minister so this is important and so yahan pe agar hum in short isko phrase mein pura summarize kare to it is saying ki india is improving at building companies but better choreography between universities and government will help us build the industries so companies and mncs us pe to hum focus kar rahe hain but agar universities aur government ke beech mein public sector ke beech mein aur coordination hoga तो वो हमें पूरी इंडस्ट्री बनाने में हेल्प करेगा तो इंडस्ट्री में सब कंपोनेंट्स होते हैं डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंपनीज तो यहाँ स्पेशलाइज्ड मतलब स्पेशलाइजेशन की बात कर रहे हैं एंड वन कोट इन द एंड इज दैट फील्ड मार्शल रोमिल सो ही सेड स्वेट सेव्स द ब्लड ब्लड सेव्स लाइव बट ब्रेन सेव बोथ सो इसको हम एज एन इंट्रोडक्शन वी कैन यूज इट कैन वी कैन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन so here we are seeing that physical standards are falling like after recruitment in the army in the defense forces it is seen you're not uh, even uh, you know after recruitment you're not following the set standards so physical fitness assessment ke liye two changes has been done uh, in the in the policy so new policy has been proposed two challenges are being visible declining physical standards among the officers because again of the lifestyle rise of lifestyle diseases so for that the maintenance of army physical fitness assessment card would be issued and it aims for uniformity in the testing process so that is the key idea here we can move to the next one so when we talk about the rohingya refugees on social media we are seeing hate campaigns being run against the rohingyas so we know that rohingya refugees they come from the rakhine state of myanmar and uh we saw that around 7 lakh 70000 rohingyas they had to flee from myanmar so usme se 20000 are there in india and most of them they are having proper like we have the data cards hai they can validate through them uh, their identity ki they are uh, a, a refugee seeking safety from the un refugee agency which recognizes rohingya as a persecuted community so on social media because we are having elections so recently pil has been filed so we talking about hate speech campaign against them on social media so they are being categorized as terrorist as infiltrators which is again an important component of internal security also so they fear ki unke against violence ho sakti hai and agar hum social media platforms ki baat kare to facebook it adopted this break the glass measures जो उन्होंने यूज किया था इन यूएसए ड्यूरिंग देयर जब इलेक्शंस हुए थे तो इस प्रोसेस में इट इट बेसिकली रेफर टू एज लेवर्स व्हिच आर डिजाइंड फॉर द क्रिटिकल इमरजेंसीज में सो इट कैन इफेक्टिवली लिमिट और टर्न ऑफ द एम्पलीफाइंग केपेबिलिटीज लाइक 
जब हम देखते हैं कि बहुत ज्यादा फॉरवर्डिंग हो जाती है किसी भी आ, कोई भी वीडियो है या कोई पोस्ट है तो उसको वो रोकने जो एम्पलीफाइंग इफेक्ट होता है उसको ये लिमिट कर देती है जो ब्रेक द ग्लास मेजर्स होते हैं तो इट इज बीइंग सजेस्टेड कि फेसबुक को इंडिया में भी वही यूज करना चाहिए इन ऑर्डर टू डील विद दिस करंट सिचुएशन एज फार एज दिफ्यूजीज आर कंसर्न एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस दे और ऑल्सो सेंग की वी लैक द बेसिक सर्विसेज लाइक वॉट ड्रिंकिंग वाटर एंड हाइजीन जो डोमेस्टिक नीड्स हैं सो इसके अलावा वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द यू एन कन्वेंशन ऑन रेफ्यूजीज तो इंडिया इज नॉट साइन दैट not ratified that but despite that we 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 you know reflect or jis tarike se we allow the refugees to settle in india that reflects our humanitarian approach ki even if we are not a signatory to that un convention we still not violating those human rights okay we can move to the next one end to end encryption so part of technology this is important as far as data safety and security is concerned it is an important part of the fundamental right to privacy so ye yeah, article hi baat kar rahe ki how does this work end to end encryption kaise work karta hai what is the meaning so end to end encryption simple form mein agar hum bole to it changes some of the consumable information into an inconsumable form inconsumable form means not everyone can consume that information and that's how it can be secured and encrypted so there is data encryption standards which are followed for example yahan pe mentioned it like uh, if we say the storm ice cream to isko is proper code mein jo likha hai adng zrrt is tarah ke tarike se isko encrypt kar diya jata hai ki nobody gets to know ki actually what was the message so there are like different keys hoti hai inke piche encryption keys so उसको इंक्रिप्शन कीज जो होती है अगर आपको सपोज डेटा को अनलॉक करना है डीक्रिप्ट करना है तो देन दोज कीज आर यूज एंड इसमें दो प्रोसेस होते हैं एंड टू एंड इंक्रिप्शन में फर्स्ट इंक्रिप्शन इन द ट्रांजिट एंड देन एंड टू एंड इंक्रिप्शन होता है तो इंक्रिप्शन इन ट्रांजिट मीन्स की यू आर सेंडिंग अ मैसेज टू समन तो पहले जो सोशल मीडिया जो प्लेटफॉर्म है जो सर्वर्स हैं वहां पे वो मैसेज जाएगा वहां से इट गेट्स ट्रांसफर टू द पर्सन टू होम यू आर सेंडिंग द मैसेज सो इसको बोलते हैं इंक्रिप्शन इन ट्रांजिट एंड दो तरीके के इंक्रिप्शन होते हैं सिमेट्रिक और ए सिमेट्रिक तो दोनों में डिफरेंस बस यही है सिमेट्रिक में मतलब वो सेम की ही इनक्रिप्ट करती है और वो सेम की ही डीक्रिप्ट करती है ए सिमेट्रिक में यू यू रिक्वायर डिफरेंट कीज और बाकी यहाँ एग्जांपल्स मेंशन है सो वी कैन रिमेम्बर बिकॉज सच टर्म्स दे कैन बी आज इन प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक ट्रिपल डी ई एस तो दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ सिमेट्रिक इनक्रिप्शन एंड एडवांस इनक्रिप्शन स्टैंडर्ड मैं सो लाइक सपोज वेन यू सेट योर वाई फाई पासवर्ड सो दिस इज ऑल्सो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सिमेट्रिक इनक्रिप्शन एलगोरिथम and so whatsapp uses this curve 25519 algorithm to so, ye hum yaad rakh sakte hain curve 25519 it is related to whatsapp and encryption and elliptic curve cryptography it is also related to encryption so these are the principles which are followed by the whatsapp as far as the data encryption is concerned okay we can take up the next article so insat 3d satellite कल हमने बात करी थी हाउ इंडिया इज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबल स्पेस पावर वी आर टेकिंग स्टेप्स एंड मेजर्स एज फर एज डीलिंग एंड रिड्यूसिंग द स्पेस डेवरेज इज कंसर्न सो इन सैट थ्री डी एस सैट लाइट इट इज अ नेक्स्ट मिशन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द इजरो मिशन फॉर टू थाउजेंड सो दिस इज एन एक्सक्लूसिव मिटियोलॉजिकल सैटेलाइट प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या है to provide continuity of the services जो ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग सैटेलाइट है इन सैट थ्री डी और थ्री डी आर सैटेलाइट तो उसी को इट इज गोइंग टू इंश्योर की सर्विसेज दे आर रिमेन दे आर कॉन्टिन्यूड एंड इट वुड बी लॉन्च बाय जी एस एल वी एफ फोर्टीन तो जियो सिंक्रोसन जियो सिंक्रोनस लॉन्च व्हीकल वुड बी यूज तो इट वुड आल्सो हेल्प इन मॉनिटरिंग लैंड एंड ओशन सर्विसेज ऑफ द वेदर फोरकास्ट एंड डिजास्टर वार्निंग्स सो इट इज हैविंग वन कॉम्पोनेंट इज डेटा रिले ट्रांसपोंडर एंड अनदर इज सैटेलाइट एडेड सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू ट्रांसपोंडर सो जो डी आर टी है ये मेट्रोलॉजिकल इट रिसीव द मेट्रोलॉजिकल एंड ओशनोग्राफिक डेटा फ्रॉम ऑटोमेटिक वेदर स्टेशन एंड देन इट हेल्प इन ऑगमेंटिंग द वेदर फोरकास्टिंग केपेबिलिटीज सो दिस इज यू कैन रिमेंबर इन सैट थ्री डी 
as satellite. Can move to the next one. So Nepal or China to soon sign implementation of the Belt and Road Initiative projects. So when we talk about again internal security or when we're talking about this in the context of CPEC, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. So India had some concerns and our stand was clear that it violates India's sovereignty and integrity because it was passing through the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. So now we are seeing that if Nepal and the closeness with China increases, so because we share land border with Nepal, so how we are going to act. And uh, apart from this, we when we talk about what India is doing, so we are uh, taking into account the infrastructure projects in the border regions. So we are having different schemes and programs like Vibrant Village Program, and then the role of Border Roads Organization under the, under the Ministry of Defense, that is also important. So we say that Nepal is, uh, it acts like a buffer state between India and China. So we need to take this into account. We need to be uh, watchful ki how uh, things are going as far as China and Nepal is concerned. Okay, next article. So it is about the genomic revolution and how this revolution can help in cancer care. So, we talked about science wali video mein, lecture mein baat kari thi about whole genome sequencing, talked about difference between DNA, RNA, and how RNA is more uh, dangerous compared to DNA because of the mutation capabilities that RNA possess. So, whole genome sequencing ke through it sequences a person's DNA in its entirety in just single test. So, that is a benefit which we talk about as a part of genomic revolution with so much um, research and development that we are able to achieve. And with this, it doesn't treat the genome in isolation. Simultaneously, the sequence hai, that is obtained from the cancerous tissue. I mean, cancerous tissue, se hi, simultaneously we get the genome sequencing. So when we talk about certain data, so WHO says that cancer burden in uh, 10 years is going to increase in 60 So that is why the, the technological revolutions and the developments and innovation becomes important. And in India, we also maintain the national cancer registry. Like we are having a proper data of the cancer patients or people suffering from cancer. So it is a disease of the genome. This can be remembered. And it is caused by the changes in the genes that cause some cells to divide in an uncontrolled way. So, when cells divide in an uncontrolled way, then we say that it leads to the situation of cancer. So, cancer can be both inherited bhi ho sakta hai, acquired. Bhi ho sakta hai. So, we are having precision oncology. So, whenever we say uh, cancer specialist is doctor, so we use the term oncologist. So, they are cancer specialists. And uh, genomes jo liye jaate hain, they come from the blood and the tumor tissues. And a core keyword is genomic medicine. So, do tarike se we talk about pe, uh, we see developments, genomic revolution, ek to genome sequencing, and second is genomic medicine. So, new cancer cases every year in India mein 1.4 million, hai, that is 14 lakh cases her saal. Report ke jate, almost 1 in 1,000 Indians being diagnosed annually. So we are seeing these shifts in the clinical testing also. So this is saving the time also and it can help in more specialized treatment. So that's all. Ease of justice is an important part for the reform in the judiciary. For that, right of every citizen has to be upload, upheld. What government is doing for the reform in judiciary? 7,000 crore have been dispersed since 2014 for physical infrastructure. Then, second is live proceeding of the Supreme Court, hybrid hearing, e-court system, DG Supreme Court reports. It has the repository of all the cases that has been given the judgment by the Supreme Court from 1950s. And now another one is bilingual website of the top code. 
all these are part of the judicial process for making the justice more affordable more accessible to the common citizen i have added ki apart from that e court mission have been conducted so that uh, the file transfer takes less time and uh, the advocate judge can communicate in a better efficient and transparent manner for the for decolonization bhartiya nagrik suraksha sanhita have been enacted along with bhartiya nay sanhita and bhartiya shaksha adhinya pt fact justice m fatima bibi was selected for the padma bhushan this year she was the first woman judge of supreme court then born justice fatima bibi one important keyword polyvocal court is very important for the democracy according to the cgi dy chandrachu ji he said the polyvocal court polyvocal court means there should be a diverse opinion diverse interpretation of the constitution within the judiciary within the collegium itself and it will bring the diversity in respect of inclusion in the process of the deliberation of the justice polyvocal court you have taken this one shastra and shastra sirf isme ek interesting tha ki how mit had contributed towards the world war 2 to us in making of the radars for plane ship and guns same way iit and baki top institute in india can contribute to the defense system of the country from gs paper 4 perspective regarding the justice and and uh, speed delivery of justice adjournment culture should be transformed into culture of professionalism then there should be a tech savvy court for that every other scheme uh, scheme like e court dg pub dg sc pub have been established other than that there should be a greater inclusion of the marginalized section of society in the collegium system and also in the higher judiciary in its and high court and supreme court for becoming a more jo upar wala the vocal court poly vocal court ke liye burden of the malnutrition for the for, further india is a food surplus country food grain surplus country but still india faces malnutrition issue in the global hunger index india performs very poorly 107 out of 119 countries because of several micronutrient deficiency in for example iron anemia vitamin a vitamin d zinc for that government is implementing the schemes such as anemia mukt bharat iron folic acid in the icds and matra vandana yojana पोषण अभियान मिड डे मील स्कीम आंगनवाड़ी वर्कर्स इट प्लेज इंपॉर्टेंट रोल डाइट प्लेज इंपॉर्टेंट रोल अलॉन्ग विद फिजिकल एक्टिविटी एंड ट्रेडिशनल डिश हैव ऑल द एडुकेट न्यूट्रिएंट्स इन द डाइट बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल प्रेफर प्रोसेस्ड फूड इन द अर्बन स्फीयर एंड इन द रूरल एरियाज देयर इज वेरी लेस एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन द डाइवर्स डाइट सो दैट एडुकेट प्रोटीन इज इंटेक इज मेंटेन्ड along with carbohydrate minerals and uh, fat uh, soluble fat healthy fat and lastly refresh so, to isme wala ke data according to the fao 74% of the indian population could not afford a healthy diet it can be written down so what can be done large scale food fortification that is changing in the chemical composition of the yeah no, not changing integrating of the certain minerals into the existing food crop jaise iron folic is iodine deficiency ko deal karne ke liye salt is fortified with iodized salt waise hi bahut sare jo wheat and rice brand they also include b12 folic iron folic acid etc to large scale food fortification and that can be used via pds public distribution system and all that fortified food can be given through mid day milk scheme 
to increase the micronutrient supplementation program. Further, behavior change. Uske liye hum log ek dafta pehle padhe the with regarding to the local food culture. Usko promotes karna zaruri hai. Local cuisine, specific localized weather food. Usko promote karenge. Tabhi ja ke the overall intake of the food diet will be maintained. कैसे इसको रीच कर सकते हैं अवेयरनेस कैसे हो सकता है कम्युनिटी रेडियो वीडियोस डोर टू डोर आउटरीच डोर टू डोर कौन करता है आशा वर्कर आंगनबाड़ी वर्कर मैसेज इन वर्नाकुलर लैंग्वेजेस तभी डिस्ट्रस्ट लेवल बढ़ेगा और आपका जो इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ स्कीम है वो ग्रास रूट लेवल लास्ट माइल कनेक्टिविटी पहुंच सकता है म्यांमार इशू वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ द जुंता वाज टेकन ओवर द मिलिट्री तो उसमें चाइनीज इंटरेस्ट और इंडिया इंटरेस्ट क्या है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चाइनीज इंटरेस्ट इज टू डिफेंड द मिलिट्री ऑफ द म्यांमार फ्रॉम द इंटरनेशनल सेंसर मेनी वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज हैव ट्राइड टू पुट इन सैंक्शन अगेंस्ट द मिलिट्री ऑफ द म्यांमार बट बीजिंग हैव सिल्डेड इट यूजिंग वीटो पावर सेकेंड बीजिंग इज यूजिंग द मिलिट्री ऑफ द म्यांमार टू कर्व द डिसेंटर इन चाइना चाइना हु Fled the country and sought refuge in Myanmar. पहले थे लेकिन अभी मिलिट्री आने से वो एक तरह से दे आर यूजिंग द अलायस ऑफ द सी पी सी एंड मिलिट्री टू कर्व द बॉर्डर रीजन में जो क्राइसिस है सेकेंड एशियान में इंटरवेंशन करने के लिए आसानी हो जाता है थाईलैंड के थ्रू थर्ड इंडिया वॉट आर द इंडिया आउटरीच न्यू दिल्ली आउटरीच to reduce the inflow of the refugees is the first step communication increase karna chahiye with myanmar but the problem is that myanmar has failed because of the inability to ensure sufficient stability in the country because there is several factionalism within the military and also the tribes such as saingang bago magwe they are they are in clash with each other to so myanmar today is politically fragmented with military ethnic armed organization Having a various degree of control in different parts of the country, so politically fragmented. Question I R, the word we can we we can use politically fragmented. Over the years, Chinese ties have increased with Africa. So, first brief introduction, China. Ka. In 1970s, African countries was first into instrumental for the Chinese inclusion into the UNSC permanent seat. China encourages the companies, its own companies, to invest in Africa as a part of the go out policy. कि जाओ invest करो Africa में. Long term objective China का क्या है कि inclusion of the Africa into the BRI, largest trading partner बनाना चाहते हैं क्योंकि one fourth of its raw material of Africa is exported to China. Loan is given one seventy billion dollar. Further, several areas there has been a joint exercise and also establishment of military camp. By the China, for example, the Bauti, कुछ कुछ जगह मादागस्कर में भी और इंटीग्रेस ऑफ़ चाइना, चाइना का ऑब्जेक्टिव विजन क्या है और व्हाट इस मेंट फॉर द अफ्रीका, अफ्रीका के लिए दोनों के लिए प्लस पॉइंट क्या है, तो चाइना के लिए क्या है कि फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल अफ्रीका इज़ अ रिपोजिटरी ऑफ़ मिनरल्स, जैसे कोबाल्ट Second, African alliance is very important for China for its legitimacy. In the multilateral institution, African countries generally support China on a various multilateral forum, WTO, World Bank, IMF, etc. Then, China's stand on Taiwan and Hong Kong is also supported by the is also supported by the African countries. Further, China is encouraging African countries to trade in Chinese currency so that there is an economic integration between the two countries because of its Cheap labor in Africa and huge market, and China needs market for its own good. That is why that is why China is giving interest at a very loan at a very small lower interest level. Africa is like that. Africa needs money for an investment in the several social infrastructure, for example, health, education, public infrastructure. Further. It gets loan at an affordable rate from China, and there is no strings attached to it. Unlike Western countries, Western countries they they talk about human rights, they talk about intervention for spreading of democracy, which China does not. इसलिए 
mostly dictators in Africa and authoritarian regime in Africa generally support China over this. Dead try policy ka narrative is a lag narrative ye bhi hai ki China is building infrastructure in China in Africa. So India kya karna chahiye? Lastly, India is talking about two types: soft diplomacy and hard. Hard nahi, soft and long-term strategic diplomacy. Pahla, ke India has been increasing the influence in the region through private sector, hero Honda, Airtel, Bharti Airtel, setting up of mobile towers. Uh, then bikes, cars, etc., Tata, Tata trucks, etc., infrastructure growth, then line of LOC, line of credit to Nigeria, $4 billion, Madagascar, anti piracy mechanism bhi kiya jata hai with uh, several countries, Ethiopia, inclusion of the African Union in G20, morally, they, they would support India in future. Then inclusion of the sub countries into the BRICS, Usme bhi inka role raha hai, India ka. The sphere of influence, African Union or India ke beech mein joint talks bhi hota hai over various issues, climate change se le karke aap ISA, International Solar Alliance, CDRA, Coalition of Disaster Risk, Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, is may be. So, or India support karte hai infrastructure growth in Africa without debt trade policy by Collaborating with Japanese, JICA, GICK, JICK. Usse African countries about an alternative form of investment arte if they want to hedge against them. They go over all year. On the perspective of PT, ECOWAS. ECOWAS is the grouping of several countries in the Western, Western African region. They talk about the political and economic sovereignty of that region, integration. Or in the field of trade, culture, and commerce. So, some country, Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, have announced immediate withdrawal. Why? West African bloc, ECOWAS, they generally they are supported by the Western sphere, uh, France and uh, US, U EU, etc. So, recent coup in Mali, Niger, Niger, and Burkina Faso propped up dictator who talked about that ECOWAS was a arm of the French new imperialism project in Africa, ECOWAS. It is a chota pet project hai, a French ka, in West Africa. That's why they withdraw. So, Sahel region, just above the African region, niche mein Sahel region aata, just, niche, over the, just below the African uh, South Saharan desert, Sahel region. It is composing of a question pushta hai, in geography. It is composing of the grassland, savanna, and mixture of desert like ecosystem to so, sahel state india and france we discuss in detail day before yesterday do was is may important areas highlight hua first india's relationship with france have increased there is a strategic convergence in thinking and long term vision for both that is horizon 2047 relationship now we can write when we are talking about india and france relationship that is, several fields, military hardware, cutting edge technology, transfer and purchase of new deals for the French aircraft, engine and submarine. There is also talk going on for the construction of the Rafale in India. Establishment of defense cell, defense industrial corridor, assembly line manufacture of civilian helicopter, Airbus Tata was the first, B2B. Then, civil nuclear, baat kar liye, Jaitpur, a small modular reactor may be France ka ek, pohut, Achha, role raha hai, as compared to US. To mutual respect karte ek ko for the mutual respect of the strategic autonomy. Aap apne sphere mein, of field mein aap kaam kariye, lekin ek ko support kare, strategic autonomy. To overall this. Regarding the issue in 2024, kya kya issue hai global and internal. First of all, global issue, wider conflict of the Israel Hamas. Right now, yesterday there was an attack on Jordan where the three American soldiers died. So, Americans have said that it will, the China, Iran will pay the cost and this can be showcased as a part of the wider conflict of Israel Hamas. Youth in Yemen, where Taiwan has produced an anti-China dispensation leader, that is La Chingte. Abhi jo nea leader bane, La Chingte. He is a anti-China. So, ho sakta hai ki anti-mainland China feeling bade 
or china will resort to violence for integration of the taiwan region dusra philippines is also in dispute with china over the territories first and second island chain ye question puchta hai parasel island spartly vesi first and second island chain it is part of the dispute between philippines and china then india's problem external internal wolf warrior wolf warrior diplomacy by the china and chinese increasing incursion into the neighbors neighborhood policy of india that is integrating maldives into its own bri bangladesh nepal etc it has it is concern for india india china's border is uh, on vigil ye ek issue hai then dusra inhone bola tha ki parliamentary democracy mein 146 member suspend hue the to aisa nahi hona chahiye for the democratic sentiment in india overall diplomatic diplomat geopolitics aur ye concern internal security mein concern aur bhi kuch add hota hai for example manipur crisis part of the red corridor left wing extremism activity ye sab kuch internal issue hai ek quote hai yahan par jo bahut important hai after the maldives have said to india india out campaign aur usne bola ki you you have to remove withdraw the military person from the maldives there has been a thaw in relations between the, both the countries to pehla jo tha india step tha wo वेट एंड वॉच पॉलिसी सेकेंड था साइलेंट डिप्लोमेसी थर्ड इसमें जो बोल रहे हो क्या करना चाहिए राइट नो मालदीव रिलेशनशिप एलिवेटेड टू स्टेटस ऑफ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव स्ट्रेटेजिक कोऑपरेटिव पार्टनरशिप तो इंडिया क्या करना चाहिए टू फाइंड अ म्यूचुअली वर्केबल सोल्यूशन एंड कंटिन्यू टू प्रोवाइड ह्यूमेटेरियन मेडिवैक मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज टू दीपल ऑफ मालदीव ये ले चुके रोहिंग्या हेट कैंपेन प्रवेश कैन यू प्लीज जूम द स्क्रीन सो दिस आर्टिकल इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द मनरेगा बेस आधार बेस मनरेगा पेमेंट एंड द चैलेंजेस व्हिच द कॉमन मैन फेसेस वी सी दैट द करप्शन then the duplication of roads are prominently seen as far as the cag report on the manrega is considered the parliamentary report on the manrega is considered we can scroll a little the common challenges which we have is like duplication of the job cards which leads to the wage delays we see in the news also before a couple of months that on the name of madhuri dikshit and amitabh bachchan we had registered the manrega cards then wage payment delays low payment rejections because the computer system do not works in the offices where the manrega payment is released in the dbt then the literacy issue is also there the farmers and the people the the people who are enrolled in the manrega scheme they are highly illiterate they are highly unskilled and that is a major issue because of which they do not understand the digital technicalities that leads to the delay in the payments apart from that the union government is meeting 100% of aadhar seeding targets which simply means that ui dai which is the central government agency and the mip is providing the direct penetration of aadhar based payment system in remote areas aspirational districts and blocks no credible evidence supporting that decision was provided on the aadhar based mandatory system so there is a perception that aadhar based mandatory mandatory manrega subsidy or the manrega scheme should not be allowed solely because we have the technical issues and some sort of direct mechanism should also be there when the panchayats provide the cash fundings to the manrega workers so that is also the thing which should be continued this article is talking about that we can move on the second article it is about acid rain so we know that acid rain is the factor of is the outcome of anthropogenic factors because of industrialization industrial affluence and emissions which interacts with the temp, 
components in the temperature and atmosphere that leads to the acid rain. So the fossil fuels is a major contribution, major contributor behind the acid rain that contains sulfurs. And when this sulfur reaches the troposphere, it interacts with the sulfur dioxide and that produces sulfur dioxides and the nitrogen oxides and the release of water. And when they interact with the molecules of the water and uh, with the other organic components in the troposphere. They react with water and oxygen molecules and it results in H2SO4 and nitric acid that is HNO3 which is a chemical term. To mitigate these effects, the coal power plants have been reduced and have been reducing their sulfur content, their emission. We know that various forms of desulfurization, flue gas pipelines are established in the factory premises and this is a technology which is known as flue gas desulfurization. Acid Deposition Monitoring Network in East Asia. This is a uh, monitoring agency in the Asia Pacific. So we can take the note of this. Forest rights can influence the poll results. So we, as, as we all know that we have the Forest Rights Act 2006, which provides the forest dwelling communities the rights to thrive on the felt product in the forest in the forest areas. But we have the two prominent amendments to the Forest Right Act, those are considered as some sort of anti-ecologist and anti-environmental, the reason being. The very first amendment came in the year 2022. It says that there is no need of taking permission from the forest dwelling communities the time you are converting the land or forest into the non-forest use. So that was hugely criticized by the parliament and that lead to a subsequent amendment in the year 2023, which provides that in the case the reforestation purpose is meted out by the private developers, then he needs to seek the permission from the forest dwellers. But in case the forest land is converted for the non-forest purposes, there the government can provide lease mechanism to the private entity so that they can do the development work, which simply signifies that the forest sanctity is not maintained by the environment ministry. This is a criticism by various parliamentary committees that by way of leasing, you are giving the private parties the right to convert forest land into non-forest non uses, and that would lead to number of problems. Number one, deforestation. Number two, habitat deconstruction. Habitat uh, destruction, number three, climate change impact, number four, endangered for the tribal livelihoods, number five, problems 